I truly do love our lemon tree. Just imagine, a life full of lemon trees. I know, and all and all our beautiful lemons. Endless they, possibilities. Endless possibilities. They're so beautiful. I wish hey. I was a lemon. You wish you were a lemon? If you were a lemon, I would put you on my shelf and cherish you like I cherish all our lemons. That's so beautiful. study. Before we begin this presentation, we must ask ourselves a simple question, and that question is, who and why are people lemon-stealing whores? What is their motivation? Greed? Hunger? Jealousy? I don't fucking know. But that is a question we seek to answer. For it is this question that must be answered so that we can truly delve into the mind of a lemon-stealing whore in her natural habitat. For if we cannot empathize with the lemon-stealing whore, then we have no right to study them. We will delve into the mind of a lemming stealing whore in her natural habitat, something that no man nor woman has ever done before. In the document so <laughs> What? So you're going from an anthropology standpoint. Maybe. <laughs> In the documentary, Lemon Stealing Whores, we encounter a couple enjoying their lemon grove before being besieged by the dastardly lemon stealing whore. The couple was simply enjoying their grove, all nice and lemony, and remarking about how the husband, I assume they're married, for simply, why wouldn't they be married? Because that's how society works. <laughs> oh my god! But, oh my god. upon her. What? I'm just crying, is all. <laughs> uh, uh, my soul is crying. <laughs> That's how it should be. <laughs> so, anyways, the lemon stealing whore encroaches with the couple unaware. Now, the documentarian, I'm not sure how he planned this, but he was filming the lemon stealing whore without the couple knowing. And she begins to steal said lemons. Now, the tools of a lemon-stealing whore are crude. It is nothing more than a fishnet-like dress. I'm gonna die! And the reason for this is because she would stuff said lemons down said dress, <laughs> and that would hold the lemons for later use. Similar to how a kangaroo would stuff a joey into its frontal pouch to carry it for transport. <laughs> <laughs> But it is not before long that the lemon stealing whore is spotted by the male owner of the grove, who proceeds to call her a lemon stealing whore. Hey, what the fuck? The Accurate. couple encircles around the lemon stealing whore, and with nowhere left to retreat, she is at the mercy of the couple. And here we introduce the interesting survival mechanics of the lemon stealing whore. As it turns out, there is only one way to deal with a lemon stealing whore. And children, this is where you should cover your ears. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, I can't believe I typed this. How drunk were you? <laughs> the male owner forces the lemon stealing whore to perform palatia while also demeaning her for being a lemon stealing whore, and yet the lemon stealing whore seems to enjoy it. But it does not end there, as they then, then take the lemon stealing whore into their home as they continue to fornicate. This lasts about a half hour before the lemon stealing whore is free. <laughs> <laughs> you watched it! This is the greatest sacrifice that's ever been made in the name of academics. I watched it so you didn't have to. And I regret it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh so the lone stealing whore is eventually freed. When we look at this scenario, and we look at it directly, the motivations of the lemon-stealing whore, one would assume that the lemon-stealing whore was simply after the lemons to carry back to her young. But I say there's more to it. More to it at work in a social environment. For you see, the lemon-stealing whore is not just after the lemons. The lemon-stealing whore is trying to find shelter, a reprieve from this horrible, horrible world where they live and meander on the streets. Oh my god. This is a survival instinct for the lemon-stealing whore. By stealing lemons and getting caught, she is a given safe haven from the streets, a 
place where lemon stealing's whores have it hard. And for a brief time, roughly 30 minutes, she is in a relatively safe area. No! So it goes. Oh! The other question we must ask is about the crew of tools the lemon stealing whore utilizes in her hunt for lemons and safety. With nothing more than fishnet, she manages to elude and steal lemons. But why fishnet? It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Well, to answer because that that's question, I did some testing. I took some fishnet and dropped some orange in it. No, you did not! Because scientifically, oranges are similar to lemons because I said so. No, I did not! I lemons at the time due to most likely a lemon-stealing whore passing by. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the fish nest stretches and contains a dozen or so oranges easily, but surely we can improve upon this if nature hasn't already. And there is something better. Lo and behold, spandex. Spandex stretches far more and is capable of holding more lemons or oranges, depending on what you're using, than the fish is capable of. However, I believe this also diminishes the lemon steals with lemon stealing core's ability to entice males to give her shelter, as nobody has any business being in spandex. Flawless human. Oh, so oh my God. while spandex can hold more lemons, it does not allow a lemon stealing whore to fulfill hundreds of years of evolution, which leads me to believe that at one point lemon stealing whores did wear spandex, but that branch died out due to an inability to survive and adapt in an ever changing hostile world per Charles Darwin. I'm gonna cry. In conclusion, <laughs> we find that the lemon stealing whore is after many things, mostly your lemons, but also maybe sex. <laughs> But, most importantly, even more than the sex, is she wants to find shelter. Somewhere to rest from the troubles of the world, if not but for a moment. Before she continues on her journey, wandering, meandering across the greater Americas, which is their natural, natural habitat. You won't find them in China or, like, Australia or anything. Oh my god! That's so I implore you, if you see a lemon stealing horn, do not shame her, do not judge her, do not shun her. Take her in, give her what she wants and help make the life of this last living pioneer a little bit easier. Oh my god! 